So I said earlier, now I've shared at least my, my blackboard with you. Uh, can you be able to see my blackboard, Brian, Michael? Can you be able to see my blackboard? You can write down there and see if you can be able to see. Uh, the, the bed class, can you be able to see your board, my board? Okay, so. Can you be able to see my board, Michael? And write down there. So let's go to, to addition. So vector addition. So when you have two vectors, let's say in 2D, let's say your first one, A, your A, Our A will be given, let's say, by uh, 2, 3 plus, and then our B is given by, let's say, 4, and this number 3, 5. So if I want to add A plus B, this one will be given by 2, 3 plus 4, 5. If you add these two, so you add the corresponding, so we'll add the four, the two uh, with the four, then we add the three with the, with the five. Then it becomes six, six what? Six, eight. So that is the vector. So this vector, if you don't want to, to represent it in that form, you can still be able to use the other notation, whereby you could still have used uh, the other notation of I direction or the rectangular way, and you could have still gotten the same, same thing. So the other way you could have done it still, you could have been A plus B uh, using the rectangular notation. It was given by, by what? Okay, three. My pen today is not working so fine. Uh, plus uh, four, five. Again, you will add the four, uh, the two plus the, the four, then you add the, 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 what, the three plus the five. So you'll be able to get what? That is still six, uh, still six, eight. That is again in what? That is in the rectangular notation. You're still getting the same, same answer. You can still be able to use the vector notation, A plus B. It is given by, uh, let me see what I'm, I'm using. Uh, yes, 2i plus 3j, because we are in 2d, and then plus 4, i plus 5k again when you do this one you add the corresponding one you'll get 6i plus 8j so it doesn't matter how you represent it because they are they are those ones they are basically all those to be able to represent now you said a vector it has a direction that's why you can be able to see it has an i direction and a k direction in one with a question there i can be able to if you are okay, you can be able to tell me to proceed. Michael Musioki, Steven Munyoki, welcome. If you are okay, you can tell me to proceed. Uh, if you are not okay, I can be able to repeat. Yes. Remember the class, I have two classes at the same time. So you may be wondering why I'm saying some names and they are not in your class. I have best students and I have bad students at the same time. There's a, there's a message there, you don't have to talk. Just follow and say if you have any concern. So let me proceed. Let's go now to subtraction now. Let's say I have A. I have A is equals to, uh, let's say, uh, 4, 5, and 6. Then I have my B, my vector B is given by negative 2, negative uh, 5, and 7. And I want to get A minus B. Let us see. A minus B. Then it will be given by is what I have. 4, 5, and 6. Minus negative 2, negative 5, and 7. 
So if I subtract 4 minus minus 2, I'll get what? 6. If I subtract 5 minus minus 5, you'll get 10. And then 6 minus 7, you'll get negative 1. And you're done. So the corresponding, you, you, you subtract the corresponding. So this one is the i, you subtract with the i, the j with the j, and the k with the k. Let me give you one to, to try before I continue. If I give you a is equals to uh, negative, negative 10, uh, 6, and b is equals to uh, 7, negative 3. So number one, get for me a plus b. Number two, get me b minus a. You can be able to write your answer down there. That's what I was saying. You don't have to say. Just write your answer down there. I want to see your answers. Get A plus B and then B minus A. You can be able to represent them in form of just brackets. It doesn't matter right now. Uh, base class, no one is typing. Let me type some that you can be able to see where you can be able to type. That's why I need hi. Type here. Type here. That's where I'm saying type here, yes. I'm able to type there the answer if you're getting what I'm seeing. So A plus B and then B minus A. Brian Monkey, Michael, Steven, nothing. No answer at all. Calgalo, uh, you hear nothing. I think there's a problem maybe from your network. Basweti, you are, you are wrong. A plus B, you are wrong. Basweti, you are wrong. Kaimba Masinde, what is the answer for that now? Negative 7, 9, you are wrong. Be careful with the signs, because you can be able to make a mistake. Bran, can you be able to hear me? Steven, can you be able to hear me? Then, uh, Brian, you are wrong. Check again. Brian, you are wrong. So I'm seeing people are still uh, finding it hard to be able to give me the answers, but at least uh, the best class, I think they are really trying. The best class. Kimani Ngugi and Steven Munyoki, kindly mute your mics. I don't have to hear you. You can just write your answer down there. Uh, so let me just do it. I'm finding some people are finding it a bit hard. I don't know why. So A plus B. Then we'll be given by, I think it was negative 10, uh, 6, uh, plus 7, negative 3. So negative 10 plus 7, you get negative 3. 6 minus, minus 3, you get what? 3. So negative three three. Have the first answer. Michael, kindly mute your mic. Let me mute for you. Kindly mute your mic. 
Kindly mute, yes, yes, mute, uh, mute your mic. So I'll do the second one, which is uh, the what? Uh, the second one, uh, which is which is the minus. So B now. B minus A. That is seven, negative three, minus negative ten, six. Do this one correctly. Seven minus I'll get seventeen, and then negative three minus six I'll get negative nine. So negative seventeen nine. Negative seventeen nine. For that one. So thank you for all the, at least the people who participated in that one. Uh, yes, at least I can be able to see most of the people. Okay, some are confusing the what? Some are confusing the 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 what? Like Mbonyo, uh, I think you did A minus B. It cannot be the same. So you must be careful to begin with the one that I've been able to give you. So that is basically about a vector addition and uh, subtraction. Let me go back now to my screen. Uh, we continue with the notes. But you guys have the notes. So, uh, but let, let me just share. I know there are some people who do not have. So, I'm not going to the notes. Let me just go to the board. It will take a lot of time. Share. Yeah. So, so let's go to scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication. So it is possible to be able to multiply a vector with a scalar. So a scalar basically is just a constant, just a constant. So example, the first one, the first example that I'll be able to do is this one. Let's say two multiplied by a, the a b. That is our vector. Then so we'll be able to get now. I'll be able to multiply the two times a. And then I multiply the two times b. So it is multiplying every quantity. So I'll get two a and then two b. Basically, it is multiplying all the quantities that are there. So uh, exercise, you can try this one. You can be able to try this one. Negative three. Oh. I can be able to do something better. Let me exercise. Uh, if a if a is this if a is equals to negative two negative two five negative two find number one three uh, a number two you can find negative four a. Kindly try that one and give me the answers for that one is an exercise. Try. Try. Try, 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 and try. Give me the answers. 3A and negative 4A. People for base, welcome. I want the answers for those ones. Is like that. And then the second one, negative 4A. I'll be able to give me the answers. Just write it down there. I'm waiting for the answer. Some people are saying they cannot be able to see the board. I'll appreciate it again.
that is the board Yes, that is the board now. Can you be able to see it? I'm seeing some people are, are, are seeing it. At least those are good answers. Negative 215. Duku Faith. I uh, no, no. Duku Faith, uh, kindly check again your answer. Base. I'm not seeing only monkey is the one that is typing. All the rest are nothing. So the first one that is uh, that's okay. Number number two, negative four a. If you multiply, Gabriel Lodur, Kimani Gugi. If you multiply, who do you think you'll get? Can you join the public chat? Uh, Kimani Ngugi and uh, Gabriel Lundur, then you can be able to write the answers down there. But if you are following, is still okay. 8 negative 20. Ah. So there are some people who are finding negative 20, some are finding positive 20. Kajuju Emily, I think you are wrong. It cannot be 820. That is wrong. Again, is wrong. Uh, Karakacha Kelvin, that is wrong. Not is eight negative twenty. Yes, I think now you are following. So that is basically about a scalar multiplication that you can be able to find. Basically, it is easy as that. Easy as that, you can be able to multiply any two vectors. Let's go to the norm or magnitude of a vector. The norm or magnitude of a vector. Normal magnitude. So, given any vector, for example, uh, v is equals to to a, b, c, and d. Then the norm, the same as the magnitude, this one given by that will be given by the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. You just have to take the individual components and you can be able to do what? That is the norm. So the norm will be given by this is the symbol for the norm. Uh, this one here. This one is the symbol, like that, the magnitude. And then you just have to square them and then you get the square root. You can be able to do an example. Example, 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 if A is equals to 2, 4, 3, find A norm. So A will be given by square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 3 squared. We to get it as 4 plus 8, sorry, plus 16, sorry, plus 9. When you add all those, 16 plus 9 plus 4, you get what? You get the square root of 29. So the square root of answer is 
385. So that's how you get the number. You just have to square, and then you can be able to just get the odds and be able to get that one. So that's how you get the norm, basically for a vector. Brian, you can see the presentation. Already shared. Can you see? So that's Kaemba Pasinde, welcome, but mute your mic. Mute your mic. Just mute your mic. So we were basically, uh, I'm repeating uh, the norm magnitude of a vector, and we have said for V is given by A, B, C, D. The norm for that one, the, for the magnitude, this is the symbol, will be given by just how to take the square root of individual components as you square them. A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared. Then I've done an example. Uh, A is 2, 4, 3. Find A, magnitude. So you just take the 2, you square it, 4, you square it, then 3, you square it. You add all of them together, you get 29. And then you get the square roots. Then you get the square roots. I can do another example just for the people who are not in B. Is equals to uh, 6i. Six 6i. Six That's 3j. Okay. So again, this one, this one is what unit unit notation. So still the same as, so same as, same as say, uh, uh, six three negative four. So that is still the same as that one. How do you get the norm of that one? So B will be given by the magnitude of six squared plus. 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. Do this one correctly. I'm getting that is 36 plus 9 plus 16. If I get that one correctly, I'll get 36 plus 9 plus 16. You get what? The square root of 61. The square root of uh, answer. I'm getting it as, check this one out. This one will be given by 7.8. 7.81. So that's how you get the magnitude of a vector. That's how you get the magnitude of a vector, 7.81. Uh, let me give you one to try. You can give me your answer in square root form. Mm, I don't have. Uh, so try, try, if uh, we have A is equals to negative I plus 2J plus 10K. Give your answer. Try that one, negative i plus 2j plus 10k. You can try that one, get the norm of the magnitude of that one. Remember, I'm recording this video, so if you miss anything, you can still be able to, you can still be able to, to go back and see the recording. If my voice is not that clear, because in some places we have network issues. So the answer, I want the answer. Sawa. Okay, can you give me the answer in square root form or 
let's say or or exact or decimal of okay, sound or decimal decimal so how decimal no problem so at least i'm i'm, I'm seeing some answers Gabriel and Michael, you have not done anything so far. Give me the answers. I'm waiting for the one group from base. Needs to be able to try. Ah, okay, so brand, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So let's continue on. Forge what? So the answer. Answer is some people have given me 105, which is approximately what the square root of 105. Uh, 10.25. Okay, so 10.25. So that is the answer. And you're done with that, basically. So that's how you get the magnitude of the norm. Now you can go to scalar or dot product. Scalar or dot product. Scalar. Scalar. Or dot product. So the dot product of two vectors given a is equals to let's say uh, a b c and d and then our b will be given by let's say e f g and h so the dot product the dot product be given by a and then dot of b so that is what it means dot product is a dot of b so a dot b will be given by a b c B, C, D, and then dot there, E, F, G, H. What do we do? We shall multiply the what? We multiply the A times the E, the B times the E, the C times the G, and then the D times H. Then we'll be given by A times E. Then we add. Uh, B times F plus C times G plus D times H. We are done with that one. So we should get a co we should get a co constant. Constant. A constant not a vector you should be able to get a constant and not a vector so that's how you do the scalar the scalar multiplication you just have to multiply the, the individual and then you can be able at least to be able to uh, to just add up so for scalar you, you still get a what a scalar so a scalar is you said is out it is a constant you can be able to do an example A is equals to three nine, then B is equals to negative two six. So this one A dot B be given by three nine dot uh, negative two six the same as 
uh, 3 times negative 2 plus 9 times 6. This one I'm getting it as what this one. This one is negative 6 plus 54, which we should be able to get it as a uh, 48. So that's how you do the scalar. So you multiply this one with negative 2, then you multiply this other one with what? Uh, with 6. And then you add them. So I can be able to give you one to try. Try. Try A is equals to negative 1, 3, 5, and B is equals to 2, 6, 1. Try. Try that one, A. So find get a dot b basically that is the the words the dot product of that one want to see some answers again i think there's some people who are joining in i have to refresh the board every time you are coming so we are we had said you join the class at the same time join the class at the same time so i'll have to keep on refreshing sour that is so a person who has come in we are on on do, on dot product we have said on the dot, dot product we multiply the individual uh like a times e b times c then we add them together so the i and the i together the j and the j and then you add them together you can still be able to go through the notes and we will be able to see more detailed explanation but you are just doing some so a and b a dot b that is the dot product will be given you multiply three times negative two then you multiply nine times six so and then you add them together and you are getting negative six plus 54 we get 48. now i've given you one to go and try uh, when you have a and b and you want to get the dot product of a dot b so i wanted at least to have a feeling of how to do it so people are giving their answers Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, at least uh, people are getting 21. So I think uh, I'm okay with that one. So let me just do it here. So this one will be given by uh, negative 1, uh, 3, 5. And then the dot of uh, 2, 6, and 1. It will be given by what? So we shall multiply negative 1 times 2 plus uh, 3 times 6 and then plus 5 times 1. And you guys have told me you are getting what? 21. So that's okay. So that is the dot product. That is the dot product basically of how you can be able to get it. Remember now for the dot product, the i times i is 1. Go back to the notes and, I, and, I, and I've been able to give you. Now, we can still be able to get the angle between uh, 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 between a dot product, angle between a dot product, angle between two vectors in dot product. angle between two vectors in dot product. So how do we do that? How do we do that? So the angle will be given by this formula. A dot B will be given by you know this one the magnitude of a we have done it magnitude of b and then cos theta given by a dot b magnitude of a dot b then cos theta that is the angle between two vectors in dot products 
and I can be able to give you an example. Find the angle between the dot product of A is equals to four, five, and B is equals to negative one, two. We try that one. Find the angle between the dot product of A, four, five, and B, negative one, two. How do we do that one now? So remember now the formula is very important, so you must be able to go back to the formula, this one. Formula is very important. If you can just be able to get the formula, we have been able to do the dot product, then you can be able to do the magnitude, then it is possible for us to be able at least now to get the, old, the products. So let me do that example. So we have, first of all, I'll get what A dot B. That one will be uh, four times negative one plus five times two. So that one you're getting it as what? 10 minus four, six. Then I'll come and get the magnitude of A. But you know the magnitude of A or the norm? So four squared plus five squared. Uh, that one, you are, I'm getting it as the square root of what? That is 25 plus 16. 25 plus 16. I'm getting this as 41. We leave it in what? Square root form. So leave it in square root form. In square root form. To avoid errors. Avoid errors, you just leave it like that. So again, I get the magnitude of B. The magnitude of B, my B is five, is what? Uh, is negative one and two. So I'll get it as negative one squared plus, let me just confirm, um, two. And then two squared. Then I'm getting it as the square root of what? That is four, five. We'll go back to the formula a dot b is given by this one and then the multiple of that one and then cos theta so what is our a b a dot b got it as what six we got a six this one we got it as square root of 41 then the other one we got it as square root of what five and then cos theta so i want cos theta the angle so cos theta be given by 6 all over square root of 41 and then square root of 5. So if I do this one 6 divided by that, for me I have a calc here. It's always good to invest in a calc when you are, when you are here. Uh, calc will be so much helpful. 41, 41 times square root of 5. I'm getting 0 0.419. For me to get now the angle, I'll take the inverse, both sides, uh, take a uh, cos inverse, both sides. I'll get theta will be given by the cos inverse of 0 0.419, which we shall be able to get as uh if to cos inverse of answer 65.22 degrees so that's how it, we have, yeah, you have been able to so again i'll be able to repeat given two vectors four five negative two what we have done first of all we have gotten the dot product which we got it as six you multiplied four times negative one to get negative four then five times two we got it as six then we got the magnitude of A, leave it in, 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 in square root to avoid errors because of round of errors. Then B, we took uh, that is 1 plus 4, we got the square root of 5. Then we use the formula 
and then we just in, I just input everything, then I divide it, and then now we can be able to see my answer in decimal form. Then I took now the cost inverse both sides, and I was able to get 65.22. Let me hear from you. Have you have you been able to follow on that example? Have you been able to follow? Benjamin is trying, but it's still okay. And I want to hear from you. Have you have you been able to follow on that example? Okay, so Brian, are you okay? Brian, are you okay? Gabriel, nothing. Okay, let me continue. So people are still saying the board is not, they cannot be able to see. So again, let me refresh the board again. Can you be able to see now the screen? Can you be able to see the screen, Florence? Can you be able to see the screen, Florence? Bran Mwangi, have you been following the example? I can still be able to repeat. Can you be able to see the screen? That's the, the, the first question. Okay, so some people are having problem today with the screen. I'm waiting for confirmation, so at least they continue the next example. It is clear now, okay? I'll be refreshing the screen after every example because some people, yes, I have followed the example, but if you can refresh the board again. Oh. I've been able to refresh the board again. Florence, you have not said anything, so I'll I'll just be able to go now. No, no I don't know. Uh, most most of you don't have the what? Don't have the uh, the what? The call what? A calculator. Will you, if I give an, uh, 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 to try, can you be able to give me, or we can do step by step? Okay, try this one. Try this. Then the angle. And the angle uh, between uh, the node product. We can try that one, the dot product between that angle. So first, uh, first find A dot B. I'm able to do that one. I, I classed, uh, first find A dot B. Give me A dot B for that one. We start there, A dot B. We start A dot B. Start a dot b 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 so a dot b is easy at least most of you have gotten it. So A dot B will be given by, this one will be given by one times two plus two times three plus negative one times six. When you're getting it as two, that's okay. Number two, you get a magnitude 
then we get uh, B magnitude. Let me give you the screen. So we get A magnitude and B magnitude for that one. A magnitude and B magnitude. A magnitude and B magnitude. Benjamin, thank you for coming. I, uh, so you see, it's not that hard. <laughs> so A magnitude and B magnitude. Don't worry, I'm, I'm really trying to write as, as possible. They don't have to hear me clearly, but uh, I'll be able to, I'll, I'll, I'll be able, you can be able to, to, to see the recording because the class has to continue. At least we, we finish the recording. If I'm not clear, you can be able to hear me later. So can be able to start with A magnitude. Uh, I've gotten one answer, square root of six. Are we in agreement with that one? Ah, okay, so square root of six, that's okay. So this one is, root 6. How did we get root 6? We took 1 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. Uh, the second one is the magnitude of B. The magnitude of B. Hmm. Magnitude of B. Hey, 76. Hey, Moses, Apana. No, Sao, Misaba, Saba, 7. So this one is 7. Yeah, it's the mass square root of 49. Getting the square root of 49. So we just go to the formula and input everything. So we shall have, we shall have what? We shall have A dot B, the same as A. And then b and then cos theta so we can be able to say that cos theta now will be given by a dot b all over a and then b you do that one we got it a a we got it as well this one was it coming to two then was coming at what this other one uh it was coming to square root of six uh square root of six times and then seven. When is the cos cos theta? If I do that one correctly, two divided by brackets mm, square root of six square root of six. Then divided by seven. Zero point. One one six six. So theta will be given by the cos inverse of zero point one one six six. Uh, so shift cos inverse of answer. I'm getting it as eighty three. Sorry for that. Eighty three point three zero two. So that's how you find it. First of all, you get uh, we have said what you get uh, a dot b, then you get the magnitude of a and b, then you just use the formula, and then now the other one is just to come and find out the cost inverse of that one. So if, if anyone with a question, you can be able to ask or you can say I proceed. Let me proceed to the next one because now I'm in the last one. Uh, yeah, people are getting it 83 point yes, that's okay. Yes, that's okay. So, I want to proceed to the next one. Can I can I proceed now finally to the the what? To the cross products. Uh, I have notes. I'm doing totally different examples, so you'll be able to go and and get it basically later. Let's go to the cross products. Cross products. So. Uh, can I proceed, Bran? So let me go to the close product if you are okay with that. Let me first of all refresh on the screen. Uh, some people are saying it is a bit. Let me again refresh on the screen. This we are on board. Share. Let me refresh on the screen for these ones.
Yes, I think I've shared a refresh on the screen. Uh, an error is occurring, it is not working for. They are saying there's an error occurring. I don't know now. I don't know what is not happening to the screen. It is it's not working now. Okay, there you go. Uh, Bran, I'm sorting you out the screen with Gabriel there. We just wait a minute. I'm sorting another group here with the screen. It is totally confusing. Ah, okay, now there we go. Now I think every group now is sorted. We can be able now to proceed. So now let's go now to the cross product now. Cross product now. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll do for, because I've never seen uh, uh, for, for, for a three by three vector is much easier to demonstrate. So given A is equals to A, B, and C, then we have B is given by uh, D, E, and F. Now the cross product is always good to present the vectors in what unit notation. So you need notation first of all. Unit notation. We shall find this A is given by AI plus B J plus C K. The first one, then the B will be given by DI plus EJ plus FK. So now, if you want to do the cross product now, the cross product given by A. So the cross, we use the times like that to differentiate. A times B will be given by this. So we shall have A cross B. So we first of all put uh, the magnitude here to help us. Then we have the I direction, the J and the K. Then we'll put now the individual components for A, B, and C, and then D, E, and F, like that. So we have the I, J, and K. That's what I was saying. In unit notation, you can easily be able to see the A, B, C, and then D, E, and what? E, and F. Can you start with B and then you go with A? No. You'll get a different answer. It is not commutative. Basically, commutative means 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. So it is not commutative. So you have to be really be careful you don't interchange you don't interchange so how do you get now this one now this is how you get it now you block so if i want to get the i because we say now for the cross product we should our answer we should we should have a 
vector as our final answer very important so cross product leads to what to to a vector we still have a vector as our final answer so for this one now to get now a cross b I'll, I'll be doing some blocking so for the i direction you take now this you take uh, this whatever that is there that's remaining so you block the i so you remain with the with the determinant of a b c and then e f this one you take a minus direction uh, again when you block you remain with a c and what d f and finally for the k we shall have a b d e a b d e and then this one will be able to come and take now the what so uh, important important i yeah uh, uh, e positive J that is negative and then K is what positive so that's why we have a negative on the J and then you block you just have to block you block the first column for I you remain with the determinant of the or what is remaining you block the J column and then you'll be able to remain with AC and then DF then you block the K column but what i'm emphasizing is that on the on the j it is always ne negative so this one we shall be able to calculate now the what the mark the magnitude now you multiply b times f the leading diagonal minus the minor diagonal the leading diagonal minus the minor diagonal that's what we shall be able to do anyone with a question there before i do an example anyone with a question so very important that on the j direction it is negative and on the i and the k they are positive and then we shall be able to do an example we'll be able to demonstrate this one better and then the question or i proceed and then the question or i proceed Uh, so someone is asking if the j is always negative yes the j is always negative uh, sorry for that. the j is always negative j is always negative the j is always negative yes but the, the others they are always positive Correct, Kelvin. I'm not getting you what you have written, sir. Is it? Yes, it's only J that is negative. It's only J that is negative. So again, I'll be able to repeat. It's only J. It is only J. It is only J. It is only J. It is only J that is negative. Only J. It's only J that is negative. Yeah. Another another question can be able to access is only J that is negative. Okay, let's do an example to demonstrate this. Maybe an example will be will be able to shall be able to see it. Mm. My word document is not responding. Now, example. A is equals to two, four, one, and B is equals to one.
find a cross b and so given those two you find a cross b so first of all i'll come and do here a cross b will be given by the i direction the j and the k then i'll have two uh, four one negative one three five that so i start with the i so the i you block i'll block i remain with four one three five then we have said the j will always be negative that's what we have said then you block you remain with two one negative one five and then the k is positive and then you remain with two four and then negative one three so this one now we multiply now we multiply this one so this one will be given by i uh, brackets that is four times five minus one times three minus j two times ten minus one times negative one and then plus k 2 times 3 minus 4 times negative 1. If you do the first one, that is 20 minus 3, so you'll get 20i. That is uh, 20 minus minus 1, so you'll get negative j. Let me, because people have a problem with the j, so that is 20 minus minus one that is 21 and then uh, six plus four and then you get what k10 so the final answer when you write it this one you'll get it is the same as 20i minus 21j and then plus 10k so it is a, a vector So again, I'll, I'll let me just repeat again. So we have a two four one negative one three five. So we are finding the cross product of a times b. So we have taken the two four one with the direction negative one three. So I was able to block for the i direction. You block and you remain with that one together up to there. So that is for the i. So that is for the i. For the i. For the j, can you able to change my pen? For the j. You block this one, so the J you are remaining with that column there and this column there. That is for the J. And then finally for the K, you're able to block and you are able to remain with now only that, whatever that I have. Two, four, like that. Two, four, negative one, three. But we said for the for the J, there's a negative direction. Very important. Important here. Important. Important very important there very very important so negative so we took four times five that is 20 it's a credit uh i've done a mistake i've seen uh that is 20 minus three oh 20 minus three sorry for that So 20, what is 20 minus three? <laughs> you get it as what? 17, sorry for that. You get it as 17, 17. Then we have again 20 minus, we got it as 21. Then we got it as six minus minus, we got it as 10. So the final answer here, again, I go to my useful rubber here. We're supposed to get what? 17. Seventeen. Seventeen. I minus twenty. Like that. Like that. Anyone with a question there? Anyone with a question? Someone again cannot be able to see the board. I've shared again the board.
in J10 inatoka wapi 10 in J I am not getting it brand okay let me repeat the blocking so J is negative 11 T is negative 11 okay let me I'll be able to see okay so okay where are people getting the j negative 11 or oh, 2 times 5 ah can be able to see ah the mistake oh so so this one is wrong let me just repeat everything now i think i've uh, done a mistake there Yes, I think I've done a mistake. But I hope you are getting what we are. The blocking is the one that is very important. So let me repeat the blocking. document is not responding <sighs> so, so we had the uh, can we just repeat we had two, we had four, then we had one, then negative one, three, and five. Let me start with the I direction. I direction. I direction. We have again, I have I, J, K, then two, four one negative one three five someone had said they repeat the the words so for the i we have seen uh, when you block the i you remain with what when you block the i you'll only remain with this one here when you block so you come and block the whole of this one you block so you remain with only that so when you do like that now, you'll be able to remain that I will be given by what? 4, 1, 4, 1, 3, 5. That is the I direction. So let's go, let me go to the J direction. I go to the J direction. direction J direction so I'll have again here I J and K I'll have two four one negative one three and five so again I'll come and block the whole of this one the J here I'll block the whole of that one there, the J. If I block that one there, I will remain with what? Remember, but we said J is negative direction. So I will remain with what? Two, negative one, one and five. All right, let's go to the K direction. K direction. We have... All right. J and K, uh, two, four, one, negative one, three and five. So if I block the whole of that one there, I'll remain with what? K, uh, two, four, negative one, three. 
Now, I think I had done a mistake in the in the old. So this is what we have. So I we have that one. So when you multiply, uh, uh, you, you you multiply the leading diagonal. So I, in the I am supposed to have a, a cross B, be given by I. If if you if you, if you have checked the I now, if you come to the I, I shall have four times five minus three times one. Minus three times one. 4 times 5 minus 3 times 1. Then the J negative direction. So the J uh, 2 times 5 minus negative 1 times 1. I think I've done a mistake in the previous one. 2 times 5 minus 1 times negative 1. And finally now the K direction, which I'll have uh, uh, 2 times 3, 2 times 3, minus, minus 4 times negative 1. Now, if you do this one correctly, the first one, is, I was getting it as 17i. I had seen I had done a mistake here. I'm supposed to get 11. I'm supposed to get, uh, it's supposed to be negative. It's supposed to be minus. 11j and then that is 6 minus minus plus 10k is that one okay now 17i minus 11j like that is that one okay now uh, is it okay now is it okay is it okay 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 so i think now we have got it let me just do a final uh, uh, no, no, not do a, a final example because I want to go now to the uh, to the what to the final or how to get the angle between a cross product and then we are I, we call it a day now the angle between a cross product. I think that's okay now. Yes, you can still be able to go through the notes and we'll be able to see at least sour. So let me just go to the say something at J. I say something at J. Uh, what I can be able to say something at J is that at J, the the it is always a negative. The J, where is it? This one here. And I say something at J. We have said at J, the most important thing is this one. The sign always negative there. Very important. The sign always negative there. You might be to put a negative. So you multiply two, uh, two. So for the J, you can be able to see, I was able to block the whole of that one. When you block the whole of this one, let's say it's no longer there, that one. If you block that one, you remain with two, it is here. You can be able to see the two is there. And then the one, it is there. And then the negative one comes there, and then the five comes there. So that is the blocking. So the blocking, when you block, it means that whatever you have blocked will not come into the entry. So when you block the J direction and you remember the sign, then you are okay. Yes. Then you are okay with that. Yes, J is always negative. J is always negative. I think I've repeated that one so many times. Let me now go to the angle because again, I'll have to do this one cross product to the angle, angle between angle between cross products the angle between a cross product a angle between a cross product So A cross B will be given by rid of A will be a large sign theta. So, but this one is a magnitude there. There's a magnitude there. If you go back to the notes, there's a, there's a magnitude. There's a magnitude. And then for the cross product, we do the order. So this one in magnitude. 
Marlene Tilt. Yes. Why are you getting the magnitude? Because we need a what? We need a constant. That is the magnitude. We need a constant, so that is the magnitude. So that is the angle between the cross products. You can put together the angle between the cross product by multiplying a times b after finding a a cross b. Again, we shall be able to come and get the magnitude of that one. And I'll be able now to do an example. Let me just do an example. Example. Okay. A is equals to one, two, negative one. And B is equals to, hmm, let's say three, one, and four. Let's get the angle between that one. You see what we shall be able to get for that one. So if you want, if you want to find the angle, first of all, I'll have to get the cross product. That's what I was saying in this example again. Again, someone is saying I refresh my board again. Okay, I've been able to refresh my board. So you want to get the the the, the what we are saying. What the angle between the cross product will be given by a times cross b, and then you get the magnitude, then a magnitude b magnitude, but now you are using what sine sine theta. Now we are using now sine theta. Now we are on sine theta. We are on sine theta. Okay, let me now finish this one because time has gone. Uh, so first of all, we get a cross b. given by i j k one two negative one three one four can someone to try to get the cross product get, get the cross product before i do it to see if you, you are, you are on, on the same page try to get the cross product of that one try to get the cross product of that one try to get the cross product I want to see if we are in the same page. Get the cross product of A cross B. And I've been able to give you that. So you block the, the I, then and then you multiply. No one is typing. Run, get the cross product there. We are almost done. So I do it, okay. Ah. Okay, this is a cross product now. So for the I, uh, that is what, two, negative one, one, four, and then uh, minus J, you have the one, negative one, uh, three and three and what? Three and four, and then plus k. K is one, two, three, one. So if you do that one, you get it as what? That is eight minus minus, that is nine i. Then one my that is four 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 to the minus seven j minus seven j and then uh, one times and then minus minus five k so that's what i'm getting let me confirm your answers 9i minus 7, that's okay. At least some of you are getting it. I can be able to see. Brand Mwangi, 9i. Okay, so <laughs> no, the final one, you are wrong. Hmm? Check. Yeah, don't make small mistakes. That is 1 minus 6. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. Yes. 
sour. So now after getting that, we need to come and get the magnitude now. We get A dot B magnitude, which is given by the square root of 9 squared plus negative 7 squared plus negative 5 squared. Get the magnitude there. So this is what I'm getting. That is 81 plus... 81 plus 49 plus 25. I'm getting as the square root of 155. Square root of 155. Square root of 155. Square root of 155. Now I go, I get now a magnitude. A magnitude. A magnitude will be given by the square root of. I go back to my a. I'm able to see my a. My a is one two negative one. One two negative one. So one two one two. And then negative one. That is what. That is four five six square root of six. Let me go to the B magnitude. Same, same. But B magnitude, what I have for the B, the B I have as a B is 314. 314. So I'll have 3, 1, plus 4. Uh, that is 16, 17, plus 9. Square root of 26. Of 26. So we had said that A times B magnitude will be the same as A and then times B times now, sorry, sine, sine theta. So uh, the, the first one, we got it as square root of 155, the square root of 155. Then one, we got it as square root of uh, 6. Then one, we got it as square root of 26. Not to sine theta. To sine theta will be given by square root of 155 all over square root of 6 and then square root of 26. If I do that one correctly, 155 divided by 6 times 26. And then square root of answer. 0 0.99 let's say 7 let me confirm 155 divided by 6 times 26 mm -hmm. and then square root of answer so that's what i'm getting so the angle there will be what now so theta now will be the same inverse of 0 0.997 is a very small angle. Give the inverse of answer. So it's a big angle. Okay, I'm have I done it correctly? Let me check again. 155 divided by 6 times 26. The square root of answer. I'm oh, still okay. So same inverse of 0 0.99. Seven. It's a big angle. Eighty-five point six degrees. So, if you are, if you want any clarifications, you can be able to say that that's how you do it. So, the most important thing. Let me just repeat. The most important thing is to first of all get the a cross b. Then you come and get now the a cross b magnitude. Because if you want to get the angle, the A cross B is a vector. So you cannot be able to use a vector to, to, come, and, to come and calculate the angle. That's why we are getting the magnitude for that. Yes. Ah, yes, 85 points. So my, my board is... Let me go down. It was misbehaving. Yes. Okay, that is the final answer, 85 points. 
0.6 point 0.4 dan a mistake somewhere is 40 so i did a mistake somewhere okay uh, okay 5.41 okay i can be able to check that one no problem uh, for one One. Uh, anyone with a question on, on that? What we have been able to do to, so today, we have been able to do the vectors. Uh, if you have any questions, I can be able to address. I'll stop the recording there. You can be able to find the video.